This week's health in a hand basket Ooh, look at that. Ta is taking us to a colorful place mm -hmm. where vegetables rule and uh, dietitian and nutritionist Emily Cope is here. Did you just sneak a vegetable? <laughs> How dare you? I did not. Wish kids would do that more often. I do. I wish everybody would do that right? more often. Sneak we can never get enough veggies. Yeah. We all know that Americans are not eating enough no. veggies. No. But summertime is a perfect time. Yeah. It's fresh. It's yeah. local. And a lot of people are really starting to grow their own gardens. Yes. And have things readily available. Yeah. The farmer's market, the public market. Now's the time to get in those veggies. Emily's a great example. She presents a great example of why presentation is everything. It really is. These are the most beautiful vegetable Thank shish kebabs you. I have ever That's seen. Look how beautiful they're they are. They're, they're just colorful. lovely. Thank they're like you. Red, right? Orange, Rainbow yellow, color. Green. I mean, just beautiful. And we eat with our eyes. Yeah. I mean, so much of what we eat is how it's visually presented to us. And especially with children, doing something like this is going to really get them into eating healthier. So okay. I've got everything set up here all ready to go. So all you need to do is take a skewer. And whether you or your children want to do it, what you're going to do is you're going to soak your skewer in water first so oh. when you grill this your skewer doesn't catch on fire. Oh, you can arrange it in any way that you like. I did rainbow colors. Yeah. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take these and you're going to spray them with just a little bit of cooking spray. Okay. You're going to put them on the grill and grill them up till they're your perfect consistency. And then the recipe that you can get on the website has a honey balsamic glaze you mix with it. So it's a half a cup of honey with a half a cup of balsamic vinegar. Once you're done grilling them you just brush them and they're ready to go. Boy that does sound delicious. And it's nice because you know at barbecues we don't always have a lot of vegetable mm -hmm. options. We like our hot dogs and our hamburgers, which yeah. are great, but if you also pair it with a veggie, like you, you like to eat a lot so you can get more veggies in, yeah. still enjoy what you like, yeah. but just kind of get the healthy stuff in get there the too. the volume. The volume, the good oh, stuff. Yeah, excuse me, did I just hear a registered dietitian say hot dogs are great? I, I just want to just make sure. <laughs> you know, at all foods, in fit into a healthy diet, yeah. yes, of course, moderation. two, three hot dogs at the barbecue is not really going to cut it, but if you're having a hot dog, Paired with a bunch of vegetables. There you I'm go. not going to complain. There I'm more go. happy okay. to see you eat the vegetables. So you've got a broccoli dish. We've here got a broccoli dish, good. and this is from the American Diabetes Association. And this is kind of a lightened up broccoli mm. salad. And it's a great way to get people who really aren't into broccoli too okay. much. It's really delicious. It's What's made the dressing? with the dressing is made with just one tablespoon of mayonnaise and a half a cup of Greek yogurt, two tablespoons of honey. So Very you good. get that still that creamy texture without all mm. the extra fat. Yep. That's going to also be made with sunflower seeds a little bit of sharp cheddar, red onions, and uh, raisins. raisins. So you get all the Ooh. healthy kind of, kind of a lot of good flavors in there. Raisin, delicious. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah, that's a sweet mm. salad. I sweet love salad, that. and mm -hmm. that's nice and fresh and refreshing yeah. for summertime. That's very good. I could eat that all day. Okay. And then last but not least, I have a really simple tomato cucumber salad. Tomatoes and cucumbers are kind of the things that are what are growing in our backyard, the two easiest things to grow. So sure. if you want to go outside and pick your own tomatoes and cucumbers, this is just going to be made with fresh basil and parsley, which could probably be growing in your garden as well. A little bit of olive oil and a little bit of vinegar. Low calorie. Again, you can eat a ton of it, but it's got that flavor. It's fresh and refreshing for your barbecue. This would be really good with um, barbecue. This really is tomato good. Cucumber. And you can you sprinkle a little feta on it, a little fresh mozzarella cheese with a little balsamic drizzle. Really get that good flavor in there, but you got all the veggies. It's the best part. This is great. This is delicious. And where can people find all these recipes? You can get especially all these broccoli. recipes at uh, the 13 Ram and Fox Ratchet your website mm -hmm. and you can get the veggie kebabs on my website at emilykylenutrition.com. Very good. Very fun. It's, it's excellent. great for kids. It's really great for kids. I was at a picnic yesterday and, yeah. and they had the main thing that you saw when you arrived was the vegetables. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then there were lots of little kids. Yeah. There were lots of little kids. We're definitely making a shift towards, you know, yeah. vegetables being the kind of the star of the show. So I'm, I'd again, love to though, see presentation it. is everything. If you present this to me, I'm going to eat it. I mean, you do you eat with your eyes, and it, it's, it's, pretty. it's a great example of that. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you so much. Thanks, right. Emily. I'm going to try some of this. Here. Weather traffic and headlines coming up next. Vegetables now, though. On foxrochester.com mm. for the, uh, the uh, recipe. Check it out.